What have we got today? Well, after a stage in the winds, a stage on the time trial bikes, now we have a stage to the mountain. That is Jebel Hafid. 166 kilometers in total uh, facing the riders today. It's a tale of two sections, isn't it? The long 155 kilometer run to the finishing climb, followed by that ramp, which has intensities of up to 11% in parts. One away! Strata Manufacturing leading the group of 131 riders out of the start area. And the attacks right from the beginning, once the flag came in, it was Tony Gallopan of the AG Tour Citron squad that ventured forth from the peloton as they approached the final climb. Just two and a half kilometers between their duo up front who headed away from the moment the uh, race started. As we approach the lower slopes of this climb, the road surface chains, changes, it starts to wind and twist, and it ramps up fairly quickly. As Tony Gallopan is uh, not too long, his time out front, I think uh, he's not going to get another two kilometers to make it f the full 160 kilometers out front. It's been very close to 100 miles of bike racing out clear of the peloton. A brave effort by the French star. And Adam Yates has got a couple of bike lengths because he's struggling to get there. Pogacar is having to put the head down and he's making a huge effort to get on the wheel of Adam Yates. And Yates will surely persevere with this one because he's eliminated pretty much everyone except the man that he vanquished by over a minute on this hill this time last year. Just a little gap has opened there, but uh, we're on the flat now. We're on the flat. It's more of a, a track racing sprint gap, isn't it? Make sure you have something to race into rather than... Uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be too close on the wheel. It is fascinating that Pogacar's actually hanging back. Yeah, just, he's hanging back just by going, a couple okay, of bike lengths. And lengths. look, he's uh, accelerating he now and he's going to take him. Yep. Well, you know, we can see that at this remove. Yep. And Adam Yates needs to be awake and alive to this one. He's got to go with a run. And here comes Tade Pogacar. Can he take a second consecutive Yates, victory on Jabal Hafid and reinforce his position at the head of general classification inside? 50 kilometers to go. Gets it around gets the corner. It's a tough one. But he did exactly what he needed to do. And Tade Pogacar out of the saddle convert a beautiful stage success. Your overall race leader has extended his advantage to the head of general classification, taking a glorious success on Jebel Hafid. The red jersey will stay on the shoulders of the Tour de France champion, and the reigning champion is the first to congratulate uh, Tadej Pogacar, the reigning champion of this event. Adam Yates has given his very best, but uh, every question was answered by Tadej Pogacar. We wanted to win. We got one. Uh, it was a really tough day, kind of stressful because there was a small chance of uh, echelons again. But the team did a uh, super, super good job. Uh, we stayed in the right uh, spots all the race, and uh, yeah, the guys drew me uh, to the bottom of the climb really good, and uh, then set the pace. And uh, yeah, all I had to do is to respond to to attacks, and uh, yeah, that was uh, yeah, it. Was super hard but I'm super happy to, to win. So Pogacar gets the win ahead of Yates, Higita, Buchmann, Van Hauk, uh, Almeida, Stork, Paulus, Harper and Bouchard. Here's your overall standings, and it is indeed an extended lead at the head of general classification, as we understood. Now ahead of uh, Adam Yates, his nearest challenger, 43 seconds back from Tadej Pogacar.